Apart from vocabulary games, Lesson 5 can be used to teach an aspect of LSC. This is done in context, so that learners can see and understand how the LSC is used. Oh, this is written in the past tense. I can see that this is the plural form of the noun. First, explain the LSC to learners. Today we are going to learn about personal pronouns. Remember, personal pronouns are a small set of words that can take the place of nouns. This means we don't have to repeat the nouns over and over. Next, show the learners examples of the LSC in the text. They is a personal pronoun. It replaces the noun Baba family. You is a personal pronoun. It replaces the noun Tato Klava. Finally, write a practice activity on the chalkboard and explain this to learners. Use these personal pronouns to complete the sentences. Instructions for LSC learning and practice. Write the notes about the LSC on the board. Explain the LSC to learners. Show learners examples of the LSC in the text. Explain the practice activity to learners. Tell learners to turn and talk and discuss the activity with a partner. Next, tell learners to write down the LSC notes and complete the practice activity. Go through the answers and let the learners check their own work. Let's see what this looks like in a grade 4 classroom. Alright class, pat yourself. Fold your arms. Thank you. Alright, so for our LSC today, we are going to talk about plurals. We've learned about plurals before, but who can remind us? What are plurals? Dennis? Plurals is more than one thing. Like, for example, one baby, two babies. Sebenzi, that's very good, Dennis. He's quite correct. So those are plurals. In Isikosa, we call them Isininzi. What do we call them? Isininzi. Very good. So let's look at the words that we have learned. Okay, in our story, and this word, umama, who can tell me what this word means in English? Lesiko? It means mother. Mother, one mother. All right, this one? Nago? Utata means father. Sebenzile, very good. That is correct, Utata. Uputi? Olona? Uputi means brother. Sebenzile, that's good. And my last word, Inju. Dennis. Inju means house. Thank you. Inju means house. All of these words just mean one person ne? or one thing. Umama, one per mama, utata, one. All right. Now we'll have to know what is when we have more than one mother. Okay. In Isikosa, we say, Oh, mama. Okay? Oh, mama. What do you think we say when we have more than one father? Udada. What do we say? Now, go. What do we say when we have more than one father? Udada. Oh, Udada. Oh, Very good. Remember, Olona? You gave the, us this answer. Uputi. When we have more than one uputi, what do we say? Uputi. Uputi. Well done. Dennis, you gave us this answer. One house in zoo. When we have more than one, what do we say? In zoo. Say again. Try again. In. Easy. Say it. 
Ings lidu. Izi nju. Izi nju. Well done, Sebenzi lewe say. Izi nju. Now I'm going to put all my plurals here. Okay. Now let us go through our list. Let's read it together. Let's read. Oh, mama. Oh, tata. Oh, booty. Izi nju. Very good. Now let's go through this list. This word is bayalila. Who can tell me what it means in English? Ria? Bayalila means crying. Bayalila means they are crying. Badiniwe. Badiniwe. Melo? Badiniwe means they are tired. They are tired. Very good. Sebenzile. And this one, bapilile. What does it mean? Terenzo? Papili le means you're fine. Yes, they are fine. Thank you. Sebenzile. This one is talking about the house. Zingingi. What does it mean? Now go. Zingingi means small. Sebenzile, boy. We can see. This last word. Zimbini. Zimbini. Lesiho. Zim, zimbini means two. Zimbini means two. Let us go through. Let's read our list together. Baya lila. Badiniwe. Bapilile. Zinini. Zimbini. Now, from this list of words and using this list of words, I want you to build a sentence for me. All right? And when, once you build that sentence for me, I would want you to also draw a picture that shows that you understand the meaning of that sentence. Okay? So let me give you an example of a sentence that I would fall. I can come and choose here and say, Oh, booty. Badiniwe. And my drawing will be about brothers, it can be two or three, that are sweating, showing that they are tired. Do you understand what you're supposed to be doing? Okay, I need one person to give me an example of what they will do. Okay? Derenzo? Oh, mama, papi, lile. Very good. Derenzo, and wh what are you going to draw to show me that you understand the A sentence? A picture of two mothers so that are looking happy and healthy. <laughs> Very good. Two mothers, because it's more than one mother. Well done. Now, Class, I need you to start writing those sentences and show me your drawings, right? Start now. <laughs> 